Hello there, boys and girls, and welcome to Pug History Chronicles. I'm your host, Professor Lee Pugsworth III, Esquire. In today's world, we are all gripped by the COVID-19 pandemic, which, among other tragedies, has halted all public gatherings, including sporting events, and fans are wondering how and when will games return. It's worth a look back at what Major League Baseball looked like during the 1918 influenza pandemic, commonly called the Spanish Flu. The Bambino versus the Spanish Flu. More than 500 million people, roughly one-third of the Earth's population, were infected with the Spanish Flu throughout the world. That pandemic lasted 15 months and killed an estimated 50 to 100 million people worldwide. That number includes approximately 675,000 Americans. The mysterious flu struck in the spring of 1918. It was named the Spanish flu because Spain was neutral in the war. So Spanish journalists weren't censored from writing about the alarming death tolls, while other European countries suppressed the information. Flu masks were common in 1918 and 1919 during the influenza pandemic. Even Major League Baseball players, umpires, and managers wore them during games. Although the first case of the flu appeared in the United States in March of 1918, the MLB season began as scheduled on April 16th and completed most of its slate. Among those who fell ill in the United States was Babe Ruth, who, along with several Boston Red Sox teammates, became very sick during spitting training. Ruth was strictly a pitcher as the season began coming off a year in which he won 24 games and posted a 2.01 ERA in 326 and a third innings. On May 6th, 1918, in a game against the Yankees, Ruth played first base and batted sixth because of the shortage of players due to the military enlistment in the Great War, or they were still at home battling the flu. That marked the first time Babe Ruth appeared in a game other than as a pitcher or a pinch hitter. He hit a home run, and then the following day hit another against Washington, which caused the manager to rethink his usage as a player. But in the middle of the month, Babe Ruth suffered a second bout with the flu and had to sit out two weeks of the season. The Spanish flu, which, unlike other viruses, relentlessly attacked healthy young people, continued to spread through the summer. Baseball owners and local government officials resisted the idea of a shutdown fearing substantial losses in revenue. So, the games kept going. It cut one month off the end of the season and ended with Game 6 of the World Series on September 11th, which the Boston Red Sox won against the Chicago Cubs. The game was played at Braves Field over Fenway Park due to the larger setting, and attendance was lower than usual. In August 1918, soldiers and sailors returned home from World War I and docked in Boston. Public events and gatherings hastened the spread of the virus throughout the city, including regular interactions that people had on streetcars, saloons, and, of course, the World Series. But it was that series that helped spread a new strain of the virus and caused a second wave of the influenza pandemic throughout the United States. And Boston really became the epicenter of the outbreak. This episode of Pog History Chronicles brought to you by Dapper Den Pomade, a sophisticated jelly for a sophisticated dog. This is Lee Pugsworth III Esquire, signing off. Stay safe and bark lightly.